the one thing I sacrifice on long camping and overland trips is fitness in the gym. This pull-up bar paired with some resistance bands should bridge that gap to get good workouts in wherever I am. Just quickly go through the initial design here. So this is the pull-up bar assembly. And this is all based off this, this lower um, portion from my roof tent now. Um, it's all, the whole assembly slides in and out like this. And then at the fully extended position, it can be rotated um, up or down. So this is the pull up bar position. And then down is either the step into the roof tent or just, you know, any other stowage position. These are the linear bearings I was initially planning on using from 8020, as, as well as the T slot profile um, for this long section and the short section with a galvanized pipe in the middle connecting them. I decided to switch uh, based off this stress analysis. So you can see here this, this displacement um, and these linear bearings. So the distance here is actually 10, almost 10.5 millimeters of displacement. And that's pretty significant, especially only at 15 inches extended. Um, if you increase this distance, you want to pull a pull-up bar out further, it'd be even higher. So that was sort of unacceptable to me. This is the steel analysis with steel bearings. And you can see it's 1.5 millimeters of displacement, a whole lot better than the extruded aluminum one and honestly a pretty negligible amount of displacement considering the whole system. So these are all the individual components for the deployable pull up bar. I've got these one and a half inch square tubing, quarter inch wall, 15 inches, two of those. Um, this is inch galvanized pipe, 60 inches. Two 44 inch, inch and a half square tubing, again, quarter inch wall, and then three sixteenths. And then these are two and a half inch flat bar. Um, ideally, you would use two and a quarter inch square tubing. Um, otherwise, I'm just gonna have to make some square tubes. And these would be the linear bearings. These are the plates that will attach those linear bearings to the extruded frame of the camper. These are um, some flanges, or what will be flanges for the pipe. And then these are adjustable pivoting arms. So this is what each linear bearing will look like. Um, and then in between these gaps will be a UHMW um, piece of plastic, which will allow the, the smooth operation of each when it's following its stroke. So to start, I'm gonna weld up these plates. So got both sides tacked up. Now just do the top. So I lost audio here, so I plugged in my cable the wrong way but I'm just showing my four linear bushing housings. Uh, they all came out fairly square. I'm pretty happy with it. They're not perfect. This here is how I'm gonna um, attach the linear bushings to the actual extrusion on my, my roof tent. Um, it'll mount to those two or lower rails, like you can see, and then that bushing will weld onto that plate for a pretty secure connection. So this is that plate with the holes marked up where they're gonna be. And then this is how the the bushing will mount onto the plate. It'll weld onto that plate. Um, so that'll be for all four of them. So next up I'm making these little weld in nut plates and these will attach to the ends of the inch and a half square tubing for the pivot on. These are the finished up welded in nut plates. 
Uh, the top will actually be this side and they'll be facing the pivot side of the square cube. That's what you're seeing here with the top of the plate being at the top of the square tube, like I was just explaining. I've got everything tacked together now. This is, these are the linear bearings all tacked together, all four of them, the short ones and the long ones. Um, then I've also got the short arms tacked together with the plates on the ends, as well as the round tube flanges on the other ends, little, which are holding the actual uh, pull-up bar. So, just going to test it everything, put it all in the truck, make sure it all lines up, and then paint and put in the UHMW um, inserts. I've got everything test fit here. Looks pretty good. Uh, I've got the bushings mounted, the pivots in place, as well as the bar in the flange. Everything seems pretty solid, even just tacked together. Um, the angles of the linear bushings you can see are a little bit slanted. The solution is just to make those holes a little bit bigger um, so that everything can be adjusted. And the next step is just going to be welding everything fully together, paint, and then gluing in those, those inserts for the bushings. This is what each of those linear bushings look like with the UHNW inserts in them. I just glued them in with JB plastic weld. Uh, it seems to work pretty good. It's super solid. I don't really foresee any sort of issues here, especially because this isn't really a very high cycle application. What's interesting about this UHMW is it's actually, um, as it wears, it's self lubricating. So it should be pretty good for this application and pretty happy with it. These are all the components with the final coat of paint on them. This is the actual bar itself. And then these are the linear bearings with the UHMW inserts in them, just waiting on it to cure. This is the next day, I actually finished last night, but it was too dark to finish recording. Uh, this is the finished product. These are the locking pins I decided to use to have two fixed positions, retracted and uh, fully extended. You just take both of these out and then remove them. And you can pretty easily slide it back and forth this is in the down position, so this can be used for dips or as a a, uh, a set a step for the, the roof tent. As you can see, the left side is pretty sticky and the right side is pretty smooth. I'll probably not adjust the left side too much just because it'll wear in and should get more smooth over time. But overall, it's pretty easy to, to move in and out. And then once it is fully collapsed, then you use these brakes to lock it in as well as putting in those those pins back. And that keeps it super secure. It doesn't move at all. And once you get it lined up, it's pretty easy to get those pins in. This is a state when it's fully set up. So all the locking pins are in like this, they're pretty secure. Um, and then the, the brakes are locked as well as this bungee in the middle here. Uh, and that keeps it super solid. You can use it with just the brakes, but just adding that bungee makes it super solid. Uh, when you pull down on it, it's really just a suspension articulating and there's hardly any spots anywhere else. So pretty solid overall. I've seen people have pull up bars on their RVs or on hitch mounts, uh, but nothing as convenient or as stable as this. Leave a comment if you see anything similar or any improvements and leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Thanks.